Hey, tervetuloa! In this video I'm going to teach you seven key Finnish sayings, when to use them and how to use them. So let's get started. My name is Varpu and I'm the founder of Her Finland. I help you make your Finnish dreams into reality. So if you like all things Finnish, like Finnish culture, Finnish people, Finnish language or traveling around Finland, like this video and that would mean the world to me. But now let's go into these sayings. Finnish sayings are the backbone of Finnish culture and I think there are three reasons for this why it's good for you to learn these sayings. First of all, it's helpful for you to understand these because when a Finn uh, is using them, sometimes we are also uh, translating them from word to word and some of them will sound quite silly, so it's good to know what they are actually meaning. The second reason why it's a good idea to use a Finnish saying is that twins tend to avoid um, being too pushy and sometimes it's a good idea to offer your advice in the form of a saying, then it's kind of not so personal. Thirdly, these sayings come quite handy, handy when it's an unpleasant or very surprising situation for you, then they can also help you kind of make the right decision or do the right thing or kind of also use this as a way to rescue yourself. So I hope you are super excited to see what is our first Finnish saying. That is aamu on ilta viisaampi. This means Word to word, the morning is wiser than the evening. Essentially, this saying means that it's always a good idea to sleep on a decision. Whenever you're feeling stressed or not knowing what to do, it's a wonderful uh, rescue place to just go in your bed and lie down. Uh, in the next morning, it's a guaranteed that you will feel better. And you will also kind of the decision or the solution uh, often kind of can magically appear. Our ancestors already knew that when you sleep on it and then come back to the matter, that is when you usually make the best decision. Okay, then number two. Ei kysyvä tieltä eksi. This means who asks for the road doesn't get lost. Essentially it means it's okay to ask for advice. This is quite funny. And I think this is a good internal reminder for all of us Finns because um, in the Finnish culture we kind of often don't ask for advices. We want to kind of figure it out on ourselves. So it is so almost like hilarious that there is a saying uh, suggesting us that we should ask for that advice and it's completely okay. Then this next one is rohkea rokansyö. And literally, this means the brave eats the soup. And kind of what it means is fortune favors the brave. And if we are talking about the literal sense of this um, saying, it really means that when you're making bold decisions or when you're being brave, you can actually provide uh, your family and you can bring the food to the table. So it is like super concrete in that sense. Then the next one is about forest. Niin metsä vastaa kuin sinne huudetaan. And this means the forest answers in the same way one shouts at it. And this means essentially that what goes around comes around. It's again very concrete with this, this Finnish saying. And this refers to the forest echo. When you are yelling to a Finnish forest, you almost always hear uh, your voice back when the forest echo is returning it. This saying is often referred to when somebody is being mean or snappy and you kind of are maybe commenting it to you yourself or to a close friend. Um, kind of like a reminder that you can do better and you shouldn't do this behavior. Then number five. Joka vanhoja muistelee sitä tikulla silmään. This is quite aggressive. 
a poke in the eye for the one who dwells on the past. And basically it means that um, it's water under the bridge. And um, yeah, I think this refers to the kind of cultural thing that Finns can be angry or like hold a grudge for a very long time. And again, I think this is a great reminder from our ancestors and from the Finnish heritage that it's not any point to do that. Then number six, pata kattila soima musta kylki kummallakin. And this means the pot blames the kettle, yet both have a black side. So both parties are equally guilty. Now this I have funny childhood memories about because for <laughs> in my daycare and in my um, primary school teachers kind of um, sometimes use this uh, saying in a situation when somebody is like trying to pretend that they are more innocent than the other party. So then they could refer to this saying, kind of making sure that we all realized that, that they are both equally guilty in this particular situation. And finally, number seven, ei auta itku markkinoilla. Now this means it doesn't help to cry at the market fair. And basically it means don't cry over spilled milk. And this is also um, kind of a bit like um, used in internally, I guess, and also for somebody else. So both, both ways are used. Personally, I often use it in, in a situation when I'm messed up or when I'm trying to get my courage back or when I'm trying to tap into my sisu uh, and I did something wrong or I messed up, then I can say to myself like, hmm, ei auta itko markkinoilla, I can do it and then I will just go. So maybe this will be also helpful for, for you. Whoa, I cannot believe that we went all those seven sayings together. Thank you so much for being here and watching this video. If you would like to learn how to say top Finnish greetings, check out this video here and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I cannot wait to see you on my next videos. Bye bye!